the inconsistent irons are not acceptable. Now that's what destroyed the score. <laughs> if you're just kind of making changes which are fairly arbitrary because the coach says so, maybe that's not how your body wants to do it. The swing is probably so inconsistent that it's irrelevant what driver I've got. This is down to timing. Yeah. Okay, but if I'm moving like this, I can't time this. You've got to trust your body basically, which is what you do every time you move. Yeah. So it's a bang, swish, bang. exactly where you need to be. You've been living your life on this side of the golf ball, thinking yeah. about backswing, delivery, you spent your life this side, if that was the, that's the ball there, you'd be... That's probably helping with the distance and also some of the control, but I mean, I was saying it's so... It's... Uh, the swing's probably so inconsistent that it's irrelevant what driver I've got. If you're just kind of making changes which are fairly arbitrary because the coach says so, not that it's not good information, maybe that's not how your body wants to do it. How do you actually let the body organise itself as opposed to instructing it what to do physically, moving yeah, it into a position? Because now you're manipulating and now you're having to try and repeat that manipulation just to try and create some habit. And essentially that's what lessons are, generally, conventional ones. But are you really developing the ability to regulate this? And what's the rest of the game like? Chipping, pitching, chipping, chipping, chipping. Putting's decent. Right. <laughs> Pine's good, <laughs> but the inconsistent irons and sometimes driver is just yeah, that's the, that's not, what not acceptable. No, that's what the score. <laughs> the score. Particularly when you're a sporty guy and you play sport to a good level and you've got a proficient skill set, and it's like, well, why don't I feel the competency that I'd expect? With relative ease, to be honest, it's like not 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 having to go and practice every hour of every day. You need to know essentially how that shot feels, and it's different for each and every one of us. But it's kind of how do we associate? what we're doing with that golf shot. So it's finding the way that's right for you. You see a golf shot and it's like, well, how do I, how do I correct this or how do I change it? We go into this technical mode, but think of any other sport you play, if you're kicking a ball or something, it doesn't quite do what you want and you're in training, you get another ball and you kick it. And it's like, what technical process did you go through to make the adaption? It's like, you didn't, you just felt it. You felt it. Yeah, completely. The feedback is within yourself. That's yes. the thing, you know, like with, with any sport. And I was thinking about just start playing a bit of tennis, I'm not saying I'm taking that up. But, you know, like hitting the ball, you, it's very easy to understand. But obviously, mm. you know, the racket's there, it's hitting the surface, it's right there. You can feel it, you can feel it. It's a bit high on the racket and stuff. Mm. And with football, you hit it and it comes off the wrong part of your foot. It might be millimetres, but you can understand that. Whereas with a golf club, you're kind of, you're so far away from it. You're just, <laughs> it's like, where's the feedback? And it's happening so fast. Yeah, that's the thing. You'll have played every golf shot you need in your golf yeah. room. Yeah. You'll have played every shot. You'll have played hooks, pushes, slices, dead straight shots. You've played them all. So your golf swing's capable of doing any shot you want. It's just that we can't recall it. Controlling it with your yeah. mind. Yeah, so it's like we're looking at something and we're not associating a movement with it. You've got the vocabulary, we've got to reinvent the literacy. The movement literacy at the moment isn't producing the outcome that you want every time. I mean, I guess it's the whole reason why we're here. It's in there. Just your body working out. Every golfer who comes in here, the first thing they do is tell me about the faults. I can't think of any golfer who's come in and gone, I do this great and I really feel good in my swing when I do this, but or, or this, it's like, they come in, it's like, because that's the nature of it, really. Yeah. It's the conditioning of it. We've been fed this faults and fixes approach. Everyone feels like they've got a broken swing of it. It's not functional. Mm. The closest we get is people saying, I'm quite happy with my putting. And it's yeah. generally what they practice the least and think about the least. Yeah. They just How often do you practice chipping and putting? It's like, and that's, it's kind of, <laughs> true. let's hit a few shots then, Brad. Let's, uh, All right, let's, let's, let's see, the, let's see the swing. What a start. I oh, know, that's, that's, that's a beautiful fly. <laughs> I love that we started on a good one. That's what I mean about the consistency. Mm. So what's going through your mind now? Now, I'm just like, don't f*** up. So, <laughs> 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 so what are you doing to not f*** <coughs> up? Uh, <laughs> thinking about it too much okay so I'm thinking come round here's like this part from here to here can be all over the place okay that takeaway sometimes there sometimes a bit steep the nerves are on now <laughs> we'll do a spotlight <laughs> why 
one good one. How many is that now? <laughs> At least I'll be getting my money's worth today. Yeah. <laughs> the next one could be the best golf shot you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> well, not. No worries. Right. Not let's there, right? let's connect you to this golf club. Jesus. Let's use both of these. Seven and eight. Yeah. I'm going to grab two clubs. We're going to nip outside. All I want you to do first, Brad, is just swing the clubs. Just half swings like this. You're getting there. You're working it out. It's really good. We can make it better. Initially, you were swinging as you were jumping. Yeah. yeah. This leaves you no time to do anything in the swing because how do I recognise what's moving when? Because everything's moving together and my club is swinging with my weight transfer. Yeah. At the same time. That's like throwing a ball. That is, that is literally everything. how... how I perceive the swing should be until recently. Right. This is down to timing. Yeah. Okay, but if I'm moving like this, I can't time this. First of all, we've just got to separate this. That's all. We've got to disassociate the system a bit. They travel with you, and then when you've stabilised, yeah, you let them swing. Brilliant. Hey, that's brilliant. Now, let's just put the eight time down, and we're going to make one swish over here, and one swish over here. Good, so there's a weight shift. Can you feel that to... Yeah. Good, so we can start to use the swing weight. I mean, you've got great movement. What we need to do is use it. Now let the butt ends travel. Let them go out that way more. Yeah. And then there's a snap. You'd, you know when you release that golf club, you can still release it out there, look. You don't have to bring it back around the body. So the arms, look, the, the wrists, they can just rotate the faces out there. Out there. <laughs> yeah. So when you're rotating, closing the face, you're doing this, watch. Your clubs go left. Yep. Because what you've associated with closing the face is more this. Yep. As opposed to, you can let the club still go that way and just rotate. So you've got pronation, supination. That's the easiest way to rotate a club face. Not, yeah, we're gonna need some of that, but we don't wanna be using this to rotate a face because to close the face using this is gonna take your path over here. Whereas we could still swing over there and just rotate the face. It's almost yeah. keeping the club face in the same position. You've been controlling it too much. Coming around them. You've been controlling it too much, that's all. But that's, how, that's because you've been, okay. but you've trained yourself to think about it. Yeah, completely. We lose this sense of control because we have two hands on the club all the time and we're thinking of this. Okay, now, watch this, let's just make some circles. There we go, good. Now, when you make the circles, Brad, let the face open on the way down. And then as it comes back up, it closes. Then it opens again. It's like a barn door opening and closing as you're making the circle. Let the clubs go up and down more like this, look. Big circles. So it's going almost vertical on the way up, look. Your shafts are about here. We want them up like this. Yes, you're gonna need that in a golf swing. Because that's leverage, that is, that's power. If you're not using this in a golf swing, this power here, this power is, leverage you're not using that torque you're gonna have to get it from somewhere else where's the next place if you're not getting it from there what does the body do it goes to the next joint where's that's rigid so what's the next thing shoulders so now you've got to rotate the shoulders hard move the torso the thorax really hard let's try and get some speed now everything's moving together that's where we've been yeah that is my golf swing <laughs> you're essentially feeling the golf club now with this end of the chain which is swinging it it's like playing football you're feeling kicking the ball with the foot that's the what's what you're kicking yeah. it with. Yeah. You won't think about your knee or your hip or any other part of your body kicking a football, because you're kicking it with your foot. So it's like with your hands, we've got to be super sensitive to what we're doing with the hands. And you are already at a lower speed with chipping and footing. The awareness is there, we've just got to develop it with speed. That's a fantastic golf shot. What a shot. Perfect. Shot. That is a golf shot. Different feel to that? Yeah. Yeah. Hoping we can keep this on the course. <laughs> <laughs> so what you do on the golf course is you don't try and control this in a way that you previously did by tensioning. Yeah, so much, so much. It feels so different. This is the letting go, right? And this is the leap of faith you have to take because this is a freewheeling release. It's just this trusting is a, from here to it's here. It's trusting it. What, that, what your intention 
to what that ball is going to be rather than just so scared of a mistake you're just like right, I need to do everything perfectly it's almost been before a damage limitation yeah completely method as opposed to actually letting yourself just swing freely that takes commitment because you're letting yourself go but then when you start to see shots like this and now you're doing it for time and time again and you start to regulate it it becomes the norm you've got to trust your body basically which is what you do every time you move yeah your attention's in the right place here just a couple more go to a fade yeah look at a fade sure. maybe not as much as you wanted but it faded you can see it there yeah yeah just do some half swings, please. Just, yeah. That's it. Back and forth. <laughs> so, what I put the club in the hands for a purpose to see where you went for your speed straight away. You went to the upper body. It's actually your normal mode of operation where you just yeah. use your arm. Just relax the arm, over, keep your grip. That's it. So, just bang the board to the right. That's it. Let yourself twist with it a bit on the way back. As if you're pulling again. That's it. Let your shoulder girdle. Naturally, but that's it. Now, so you bang the board, and the club swings. So now let the club swing. That's it. So just let it swing. Just swish it back. Now bang the board, then it swings. Bang it. Bang the board, then it swings. Bang the board, then it swings. So it's a bang, swish, bang. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two-hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to club head speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos. Awesome. Just have a couple of shots, Brad. Well played. Just starting to come in a bit. Shot. It's annoying that they're going straight. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought you would be saying that? For that. <laughs> two years for that. Brilliant. Yeah, it's good. Let's um, let's just, have you got some tea pegs in your bag? Yep. Awesome, let's grab some tea pegs. Just rotate your hips towards me and just come onto your left leg with your body weight. That's it, twist your hips, that's it. Now just lean your chest back away from me and push your hips towards me a bit. Good, so you can actually counterbalance me with just your body weight. You can counterbalance me and your arms are soft still, so you're letting this club swing. Just so this feeling here, just without the ball, yeah? Body here, mm -hmm. all good on a driver? Because usually I'm trying to stay here. No, yeah, that's, yeah, you that's need to why be shifted. pushes out. We're gonna, well, we'll, we'll see, because we, yeah. we need to counterbalance this. If this is going to rotate freely, and it's going to swing out here, you need to be able to counterbalance it. This is when I'll take you later on with the GRF, with the ground reaction forces and the yeah. more of the lower body stuff next time, okay? Today's been sequencing, separating, you understanding release patterns, creating the right mindset to go and develop the game, and then we'll enrich that later on and yeah. develop it further. What I want you to do now, with that, we're not going to hit the ball, I just want you to swing back and through to this place. Yeah, different feel? Yes. Yeah. It's exactly where we, come up for it. That's exactly where we need to be, Brad. Just try that. That's it. Shot. That's exactly where you need to be. Yeah, it's not not a position that I'd ever be expecting to be in with a driver. Mm. Body so far. You've been living your life, by the way. Like You've been living your life on this side of the golf ball, thinking yeah. about backswing, delivery. You spent your life this side. If that was the, if that's the ball there. You've been thinking about taking it back, doing this, bringing it into the. You spent all your time this side of the ball, and not that much time thinking about where's the club going, rotating, okay. the finish. Feel. Yep. Yeah, that felt almost like the up, like that. Did it? Yeah. And it flew straight to that one, didn't it, to be fair? So you didn't have the rotation. So yeah. You, so your feedback there was well aligned with what actually happened. Yeah, that was mo that's not rotated, you see. Whereas, whereas, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's kind of, you can feel that rotation. Yeah. Is brilliant. Sure. Three shots, same place. Take that all day. 
and that's the one. Oh, that sure. Right. What, Home time. What a golf show. <laughs> that's a Brad, that was brilliant. Appreciate it, mate. Well done. Thank you. you. Changed my life. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going straight on there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>